set it over there at the, where I had on the previous video I had the, I have two of this because I want to do run another video with uh, dual caps on each gate of the motor and we have the same small uh, radio shack motor um, old north and <clears throat> the cap is set at that um, parallel to that meter there which is going to be showing the output and we're going to notice the effect in a much faster um, manifestation here it's uh, due to the super cap backing up and these batteries are not fully charged and you'll see how the increase of RPMs uh, self within the system and you will also notice the amperage increases on the on the DC these are the same batteries they I have not charged them they, they are still the same way let me just set up everything here and turn the meter on and set to DC we set it to zero and uh, <clears throat> There is going to be a point that is going to start slow and then it's going to start climbing up. And you're going to notice that on the RPMs and also on that meter when it starts increasing. Now, you notice the cap is, is, is I shorted it out and it's empty completely. Zero, point zero, zero, two. 0.2 volts uh, so let's start the system we got the starting voltage is at 2572 2.570 and it 
it's at 5400 5, rpms and you see the voltage went down 13.5352 and all of a sudden there's gonna be a point now it's at 5700 5800 and it's gonna start climbing up and notice the amperage is at 4.8890 average so it's a higher amperage the motor is right now at 6300 and we only have at the cab 239 milliamps now it's like 67, 6800 and four uh, 1.4 volts now it's 7000 and the, the amperage remains around 4.54 4.5 amps DC now the cap is at 380 milliamps and we are at 7700, 78 so it's, it, it shows a very uh, actually what it does, it, the, the super cap, what it does, it, it enhances the, the the features of that we have here, we are 8300 78, 8300 it fluctuates, now it started coming down it's 87, I'm sorry, bad setting here 8700 steady <clears throat> it's gonna jump to 15 1.5 now it's at 0 0.5 volts and it's at 8700 amperage remains about 4.2 any And this is obvious now I just don't have the time the video but if we uh, disconnect this we're gonna notice that the battery is gonna increase above the level we started and actually I have run an, a previous test where the battery was at 2.566 and when we started what is it was at 2.572 and it's at 8700 motor it's at room temperature Ninety ninety five degrees. Batteries are at one hundred degrees, one hundred and six, which is pretty warm. I was gonna go to one point six, and it's like sixty three hundred. I'm sorry, it's at 10,900. Bad setting here. It just moved. 10,900 RPMs. And 1.6 volts and 3.90 <coughs> amps. We are at 0.7 at the chargers. We're 11,000 now. So, absolutely happy with this test. Um, we are seeing an increase again and motor is not but warm and about previous uh, comments that we had on the on the site it's this motor doesn't have any sparks so I want to get a close look here and there are no sparks in here And it's at 11.4 RPM, 11,000.
and I believe it's a good, uh, excellent result here. We have. <clears throat> we are 11, 5, 7, 7, 11, 6, and it, it keeps climbing. We can have a close up at that meter, at the tachometer. And it keeps increasing, it doesn't stop. It's gonna get to a point like when the, the batteries are fully charged, which is around 12,000. And the voltage keeps climbing up. Now we are at three point sixty eight amps. We're at twelve thousand already. Actually, the, the cap is it, it, it actually, I mean, don't retaining that much, but the same charge that we saw in previous video. We just see the enhanced because of the density of the currents in the motor are higher. Now it's at 12,470, 12,480 by itself. It's just a complete self acceleration and regeneration of power here. 12540 and uh, not much time because I want to run another experiment but I'm gonna disconnect it and we see the motor keeps running Alright, so I don't have uh, um, much time left on the battery of the cam, so I'm, I'm just going to reset here, already on DC amps, turn on this, turn on this meter, and you see that we got an empty cap there. Um, and I'm gonna run it again. Huh. 
have lost what point uh, zero zero six uh, five millivolts uh, on that run, which is nothing. We got more current like that on the air. But anyways, let me start it up. And the cap is charging. We are at And we see the increase again. We are at 4.5 amps. And this I find it amazing because it's the same setup, except that we have the super cap on, on the other side of the motor. We are at 7,500 already and we are climbing voltage. You can see the, the humming of the motor is steady. Now we're 8,500, 1.44, and 4.17 amps. Seven hundred ninety eight. Ten thousand four. Ten thousand four twenty four. And there eventually will be a, a moment that we, if we use dual banks, input output, we are gonna be able to disconnect from batteries. There's no reason why we cannot. As soon as we have a reservoir, enough voltage capacity, we can keep running without varying the, the, the speed or the torque. And, and the point will be to find the perfect curve where we can do this, exactly at the time the batteries uh the, the capacitor reaches the right voltage and the right amperage so we can bridge this um, effect um and of course we're gonna have a slow bump but the ideal is it'll be that it does this effect without batteries just on so on super caps and that's uh my next testing we are at an eleven thousand 170 RPMs and 1.6 volts and keep increasing. Super cap is almost at 0.8 volts. And we hear the motor going up. And 
temperature again. It's 98 degrees, 95, I'm sorry, 96. I believe we're going to enhance even more this effect when we get bigger motors. 11.6 thousand, 11,600 RPM. We have gained a considerable amount of, of RPMs. In a, in a very short timing period and voltage keeps climbing up we are almost at 0.8 volts 3.5 amps we're gonna hit 11.8 11,800 and you guys tell me where we're getting this energy from because the, the, we, we saw that we started with an empty cap. Batteries are rechargeable, but they're only limited to a certain amount of voltage. And they were supplying the amount of voltage was revealing in the amount of RPMs that the motor was doing when it started. Now it's at 12,020, 12,000 jumping. I find this amazing. It's, it's an excellent effect. I believe we are into something here. Pretty nice. I'm pretty good. I got no more time, guys, so I have to say goodbye. On the battery, on the cam battery.